Welcome to another episode of Junk I Used to Do in Lightwave. I've been animating with Lightwave for over 20 years. Get off my lawn! You Blender script, a kitty! Today, we're going to see how to do Rail Extrude in Blender. Well, that's what we called it in Lightwave anyway. To make soft pipes and wires in Lightwave, you'd first draw your spline. Then, on another layer, you'd draw the profile shape of your wire. Then you'd have to place it at the end point of your spline. And then you'd have to be sure you turned on show normals so that you could line up the polygons normal to the spline. Finally, rail extrude. To top it all off, there'd be no way to animate this without writing some Python script or going down a node mess. In Blender, it's super easy to extrude a curve. I'm just hitting Shift A to create some reference objects to connect with our wire. I'm not being too smart about this, I'm just creating them all while in mesh edit mode. You can hit tab to switch between mesh and object mode. Hit Shift A again and create a new Bezier curve. Now select the draw tool and draw your curve. I'm going to tweak the positions a little bit by grabbing individual points and hitting G to move them. Select the object data properties panel. The button is the little green curve icon because you have a curve selected. The most important setting you want to change is depth in the bevel section. It's that simple. What's really cool is you can animate the wire as if it's growing. Open the start and end mapping section and change the end value. Right click on any property and select insert keyframe to create a keyframe on the timeline. Now I'm moving to the end of the timeline to create another keyframe. Why the shit isn't it animating? Well, I was a doomkopf and didn't press record on the timeline. Now you can easily go to any point in time and set the value. The new keyframe will be recorded with no extra clicks. I know you Blender kitties just popped out a forehead vein because I didn't mention the fact that you can just click the little dot next to any property and slam down a keyframe. There's a ton of settings you can tweak that weren't available in Lightwave. And since we're working non-destructively and not baking the extruded geometry into polygons, you can go back and animate or change your mind on any of these properties later. Take that, old man Lightwave! Thanks for watching, and please don't forget to like and subscribe. I cut off your blender and feed to a hungry sales rep after CES convention.